a look at how the pitching and defense fared in the Detroit Tigers 3-0 win over the New York Yankees in Game 2 of the American League Championship Series. For the fifth time this postseason, the Tigers starter has worked seven or more scoreless innings, while allowing three or fewer hits. Anibal Sanchez continued the ridiculous trend Sunday by tossing seven shutout innings of three hit ball en route to a 3-0 win over the Yankees in Game 2 of the ALCs. With the short porch in right field at Yankee thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Stadium and a lineup stacked with left-handed hitters, the odds seem stacked against Sanchez. But he responded by shutting down a Yankees offense that could only muster one extra base hit. Of his 110 pitches, 67 went for strikes as he induced 12 ground balls giving the Tigers their second win of the series and a chance to sweep at home if Justin Verlander can't tame the Yankees, once again, in Game 3. Credit manager Jim Leland for how he managed the Tigers' bullpen Sunday. He needed only one reliever, Phil Koch. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. But he stuck with him, and it proved to be the right call. With 110 pitches under Sanchez's belt. Leland elected to bring Coke in the eighth inning to face the pair of left-handed hitters and the switch-hitting Mark Tysero. All Albuquerque and Drew S. Emilia were warming up in the bullpen, but they weren't needed after Coke pitched a picture-perfect eighth inning. Prior to the game, Leland told reporters that he would use a closure by committee system while Jose Valverde remains out of the loop. Carrying a 3-0 lead, there was question as to who thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Would enter the ninth. What in Ingwa was warm, but with a left-handed hitting Rodel I Banas do up, Leland elected to stick with Coke, who quickly struck him out. With a pair of right-handers do up next, there was question as to whether Leland would stick with Coke or bring in Ingwa. He stuck with Coke. In turn, Coke struck out Martin for the second out and gave up a base knock to Rodriguez. But with a left-handed hitting Curtis Granderson due up, Coke remained in the game, and closed things out with a strikeout.